everyone, I'm Maria and welcome to Coconut TV. This week I'm very excited about talking about a topic that I feel that we could all identify with and that is with attack. And when I am talking about attack, I don't mean like attack, physical attack, I'm talking attack, verbal attack. And it could be an attack with an email, with a text, it can be an attack that we experience in confrontation with someone one-on-one. -on -one. And I want to share with you a beautiful um, lesson from A Course in Miracles that says, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. And I love that lesson because we always feel that we have to, when somebody attacks us or when somebody says something we don't like, that we got to defend it. Like, that's not true. I'm better. What do you mean? Um, I'm not that way or, or that's you know, you shouldn't say that and we're like defending something that that person's saying about us. And through my experience in life, I've, I've realized and recognized that when we defend something, we lose our power. When we defend something, we become limited. There is a thing that says in The Course in Miracles the defense, of being defenseless, which I love, which is defenselessness is strength. It testifies to the recognition of the Christ within us. So when we're being defenseless, we're actually in oneness. We're with our Christ self. We are in truth. We're in Holy Spirit. We're with Coco. You know, that's what Coconut TV is about. We're with our Coco side. And it's when we're in defense, we're actually being nutty. We're in our nut side of our mind. Because we want to defend something that is really not the truth about us. And it also goes on to say in the Course of Miracles that defensive, defensiveness is weakness. So we have our defenselessness and we have our defense. So we got to choose. Are we going to be defenselessness or are we going to be defense? And depending on what we choose, that's what's going to be our experience. I had a great friend of mine once that gave me a really great advice, which is when someone attacks you or someone says something to you that irritates you or something that puts you down, to not respond to it immediately and not respond to it or not communicate to that because sometimes that person doesn't communicate at your level. So it's important when you have communication with someone um, that you choose when you're speaking to that person that it is an authentic conversation of where each one is being honored in the conversation. So I've learned through this lesson, which is in my defenselessness, my safety lies, is to understand that that person is coming with the attack and that is their issue, that is their problem, that is their growth. And I'm only responsible for how I'm going to take it and my experience. So I'm going to move into not attacking, not justifying, hey, what you're saying about me is not true. Hey, um, what you said about me hurt me. No, I'm going to come from a space of not even responding to that. And I know it's really hard because we all feel, hey, I want to respond to this person. This person attacked me. I have to justify myself. I have to make this person know that what they say is not true. When you know something is not true about yourself, when you know that what that person is saying is not authentic, and when you know that what that person is saying is not coming from a pace of love, I think that inside our hearts we know that the last thing we should do is to even contemplate even speaking about that. Because in reality, it just adds more poison to that and it's making whatever that person is saying real. A great exercise is this one. It says, we look past dreams today. So when it says we look past dreams today, is we look past the dream of defense and recognize that we need no defense because we create unsaleable without all thought or wish or dream in which attack has any meaning. So we give no meaning to that attack that that person's giving us. Now we cannot fear, for we have left all fearful thoughts behind. So when you're not attacking, you're being defenselessness. What you're doing is you're leaving all fearful dreams behind. And in defenselessness, we stand secure, serenely certain of our safety now, sure of salvation, sure we will fulfill our chosen purpose as our ministry extends its holy blessing throughout the world. And there's this wonderful meditation that A Course in Miracles talks about in reference to when someone attacks you or someone annoys you or says something offensive to you that the Course in Miracles says that you can do, which is says, be still a moment. When it says be still a moment, it means just take a break, just take a moment and breathe. And in silence, so you go off to your room or somewhere where you feel comfortable, 
And think of how holy is your purpose, how secure your rest, and untouchable within its light. And you just take that in and you recognize that whatever anybody else has said about you or whatever attack you've had, it's just an expression of something unconscious within you that was reflected outside of yourself of which you can be responsible now and say, hey, you know what? I chose wrongly. There's something within me that's expressing this unconscious guilt. I choose differently. I take this back in and I want to choose again. And then what you do is, is that you ask to see the situation differently. And I've said this in different various episodes, which is, Holy Spirit, let me see this person another way. Holy Spirit, this email that I'm seeing right now with all this attack, let me see this another way. Let me see this person's intentions another way. And let me serve you. And let me not come from attack and defending and defending myself. And just show me the way. And you will get insight. I've had experiences in my life that I have just gotten the insight of just not doing anything and just not even contemplating that email or text in reference to that person. And just and it's not that you're ignoring that person, is that you are in peace because you have done everything you have to do. So that relationship is at peace, but that other person's not ready. So you're just honoring that person's time. I want to inspire you this week so that if anyone um, in any way disturbs your peace, that you go back within and that you you just recognize and say, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. And if I don't defend myself in the situation, I have power. And see how that works for you. Because in this world of cause and effect, in this world of dream that we're living in fear, it's very easy for us to be like, oh my God, that's it. This person says something about me. Let me go attack them. Let me go tell them, tell them what it is. Let me let them, let me tell them, you know, what they said was wrong or whatever. Let's change it up a bit. Let's change, let's let's have another way of thinking. Let's have another way of being which is not reacting to what the person is saying or doing. And see what that result is for you. And see um, how your week goes. And maybe you might have a miracle occur. Actually, most probably when you're in your defenselessness, you will have a miracle. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this week's Coconut TV. And um, the affirmation for this week is, of course, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. All right, everyone, have a great week filled with love and light. Until next time.